right, hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. So before I get into today's episode, I just want to let you know that this week we are doing a big promotion around our signature program, the Online Summer Program. Now, specifically, what we are looking for are for hikers who want to get fit, strong, and resilient, so ultimately they can conquer every adventure. So if this is something you'd like to learn a little bit more about and really just see if and how it may be right for you and be able to help you towards your your hiking aspirations, all you need to go do is go to summitstrength.com.au slash apply. And from there, you can book a short call with our team to get a bit of an overview so we can get a bit of an overview where you're at and see if it may be something we might be able to help you with. So if you want to learn more, go to summitstrength.com.au slash apply, and you can figure things out from there. So with that being said, let's talk about today's episode, Elements of Fitness for Hiking. And essentially, this episode was inspired by literally just last night, or two days ago, I should sort of say, by the time this podcast is released, or maybe a few days ago. But anyway, I was sitting down and I was putting together my next 16 weeks worth of training for myself. Now, recently, I've actually started doing a new type of training. And, you know, I've been a little bit stagnant with my training, with my exercise for quite a while now. You know, I haven't been super inspired about a lot of things. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to do something new. And I basically decided to start doing some mixed martial arts training, which is something I've never done before, something that's completely different to to the type of training I need to do. Um, And it's been really good so far. I've been learning new skills, you know, taking a different approach to training and, and yada, yada, yada. And essentially in amongst all that, all this stuff I've been learning, I was like, you know what, now it's time to sit down and really think about my fitness and my strength because, you know, I'm learning a lot of stuff that's a little bit technical, a little bit complicated in the sessions I'm doing, but I need to complement that with my fitness. Just like we talk about with training for hiking, we should be doing training outside of our hiking. For me, I need to be doing training outside of these sessions, so I'm making sure I'm in the best place possible. So essentially, I sat down and I was going to write out my program. And, and as I sat down, Essentially, what you need to do and what a good coach will do when they're trying to prepare you for something is they'll sit down and they'll reverse engineer all the different things they kind of got to get you ready for. Meaning, we've got to start with the end in mind. We've got to look at the sort of stuff we're doing and decide, okay, how are we best going to complement that with our training? Now, for this particular type of sport, I've never done any training like this before. I've never trained anyone for something like this before. So I had to sit down and really, really figure things out for myself. And I listed out all the different elements of training that I need to develop. I need to develop muscle strength. I need to develop lots of power. So I'm like explosive. I need to develop muscular endurance. I need to develop lots of aerobic fitness to get through long days of sessions, but also a bunch of different aspects of a higher intensity fitness. And not just saying I had to get fit for huffing and puffing, but there are four elements of what's called technically named as energy system development that I I highlighted. I was like, look, I need to develop these things. And then I was like, look, I need to increase my mobility because I'm very, very tight in certain areas, which is going to get me into trouble. And I was like, look, I've got all of these different things that I've got to figure out and somehow improve. And at first I was like, this is a little bit overwhelming. How the heck am I going to fit in all of these different elements of fitness? How am I going to fit this into my week? I'm not a full-time athlete. I run a business. I'm pretty busy. How am I going to go about this? And that's basically because, you know, this is what I do. I spend a good amount of time figuring this out and doing it all together. And in the end, I sort of managed to slide all this stuff into, you know, a reasonably good 16-week program, which I think will work. But it got me thinking because that's my personal story. Me stepping into training for a new a new hobby, a new activity. Me trying to figure out all my training. And me trying to figure out I'm co- making sure I'm covering all my bases. And this is me as an expert in physical fitness. I'm not an expert in mixed martial arts training by any means, but I am an expert in strength conditioning. I am an expert in programming. This is my full-time job, figuring things out like this. And it was overwhelming for me. So it got me thinking, okay, you know, as a hiker, listening to this podcast, trying to figure out all the different aspects of fitness that you have and that you need to develop that to get in the best possible position for your hiking could be pretty tough. And essentially, I sat down before this episode and, you know, this is type of stuff that I figured out for myself many years ago. Because 
this is my full-time job working with Summit Strength. I sit down and I figure out how to get best, get, best get people ready for their hiking. And essentially, when you sit down and you reverse engineer hiking and the demands of hiking, similar to what I did a few days ago for this new sport, there are so many different aspects of fitness, aspects of strength, aspects of just your physical performance that you kind of need to get yourself ready for. Now, number one, you need to develop muscular strength to best support your joints to protect you from injury. You need to develop muscular endurance to help your legs go again and again and again and again and again when you're doing climbing or just going all day. You need to make sure that you're covering your lower body training, your upper body training, and even make sure you're training the lower limbs and the feet as well, so the calves and below. We need to make sure we're fitting in core, balance and stability, flexibility and mobility. We need to make sure we're building up our aerobic conditioning so the body has enough of an engine just to be able to go and go and go for a long period of time, but also complement that with developing the aspects of fitness which will help us in the tougher sections of the trail. When we start climbing steep inclines, we're getting quite huffed and puffed where we've got to keep up with quicker hikers. We need to ensure that we're ready for pack carrying, for ups and downs, for rock scrambling. And there's all of these different bits and pieces that if you're looking at a really thorough preparation program for training for hiking, you want to be making sure you're covering off. You want to be making sure you're ticking off each of these. But if you're listening to this, you're probably thinking, okay, Rowan, cool. But how the heck do you fit this all into a week or a month or whatever it may be? Exactly how I was feeling a few days ago. How do you make sure that you're fitting all this in when you've only got, you know, a couple of hours in a, in a week to train? You don't have your full-time job to prepare for this. You don't have hours and hours and hours. You may work a busy job. You may have a young family. And maybe you've only got 45 minutes here and there to really fit things in. How do you go about this? And I fully, fully, fully understand that it can be a little bit overwhelming. So essentially, the intention of this episode is really to go in two directions. Now, number one, for the people who like to figure out all their training, they like to figure things out on their own, they like to put it all together, they like to take this information from the podcast and put into action for themselves. This should be a reminder and a highlight to make sure you're covering off all these bases. Are you fitting in strength? Are you fitting in muscular endurance? Are you training the lower body, the upper body, and the lower limbs? Are you doing your core? Is there some balance and stability in there? Is there some flexibility and mobility? Are you working on your lower intensity aerobic conditioning? And are you working on a little bit of higher intensity stuff to prepare you for those things? Are you specifically working to get yourself ready for pack carrying, for ups and downs, rock scrambling? And what other what other specific elements that you're going to be facing on your adventures? So if you're someone who figures out their training for their own, Go through that checklist, listen to this a few times, write that all down and just tick off. Am I covering these things? And if you're not, then it's worthwhile thinking, okay, how can I incorporate this into my week, into my month? How have you go about it? Now, on the other side of things, if you're listening to this, you're like, oh my gosh, Rowan, that is a bit of overwhelming. Just how I felt a few days ago myself. Then let's use this as an opportunity to see if you can get a little extra help to see if you can get some guidance, because this is what I do all day long. Over the years of training hikers, I have tested, I have trialed, I have perfected the training for hiking systems for my hikers to ensure we're covering off all of our bases, no matter what situation you're in. So whether you have 10 hours a week to train, whether you only have an hour and a half a week to train, I know how to make sure we're covering everything we need to get you ready for your specific hikes, to make sure you're covering all your bases and you're ultimately just ready for whatever the trail may throw at you. So if it does feel a bit overwhelming thinking about all this and you're like, you know what, I do want help with this. I want to give myself the best chance of a safe, enjoyable and successful adventure. You know, whatever you may be doing, you know, I would love to hear from you. As I said at the start of this episode, this week I am doing a big promotion on my signature program, the Online Summit Program. Now we're looking for hikers who want to get fit, strong and resilient so they can conquer every adventure. And if you want to give yourself the best chance of a great adventure, whether it's day hikes, multi-day hikes, through hikes, whatever, then I would love to hear from you. To find out a little bit more, what I'd like you to do is go to summitstrength.com.au slash apply. Now, from there, you can book a call directly with our team. You can go on there, book right into our calendar, just for a really quick discovery call to begin with, just to get a little bit of an overview of where you're at, what's going on, how we may be able to help you. And if it does seem like we may be able to help you, 
one of our programs may be worthwhile exploring, then what we'll do is from that short call, we'll book into something a little bit longer where we can really get into the nitty gritty of your situation, really get into exactly what you need, exactly what you want and exactly what you're aiming for. And then we can explain exactly how our programs, how our training works, and you can make a decision if it may be something you want to go ahead with. So ultimately, if you are interested in finding out a little bit more, please go to summitstrength.com.au slash apply, and we can take it from there. So that's enough from me today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. I hope it was a little bit of a reminder for a few people. And if you are in this situation where you are feeling a little, feeling, feeling a little bit overwhelmed, just know it's not unusual. I felt the same thing a few days ago, and I do not blame you if you feel it yourself. But I hope this helps, and I hope it sets a few people up with their training moving forward. So have a lovely day, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.